Hello and welcome. It's Glenn Livingston from PaperClickToolbox.com and I want to talk to you about something exceptionally important which is simplifying and focusing your keyword research. Affectionately titled, How to Quickly and Easily Find Your Way Out of the Time and Money Sucking Keyword Research Maze. And I say that affectionately because I spent a lot of time myself in the time and money sucking keyword maze. And now that I'm older and wiser and have had um, hundreds of students, I know how easy it is to get uh, lost, to really get lost when you're doing your keyword research because you can go wide and you can go deep and there are all these keyword tools available. And the bottom line is that on the internet, um, focused and relevant is the best way to get your projects running. And once it's focused and relevant and you know what's working, it's fairly easy to use the tools available to you, both free and paid, to expand your traffic and build bridges to other concepts. So let's see if I can show you a very um, common sense, methodical, step-by-step -step approach to quickly getting your keyword research done, getting the best prospects to your site, most likely to convert uh, most likely, likely to make you money and get things in the black to, to start with. So let's do that. Okay. Now, this is someone no one really talks about, but you know, you know the saying that if you, if you don't know where you're going, you'll probably wind up somewhere else. And for some reason, when everybody does keyword, on, keyword research on the internet, what they do is they just kind of dive in and start playing around with the keyword tools. And they say, oh, that looks good. This looks good. I could talk someone searching for that into this. Oh, I think they'd like this. Oh, I think they'd like that. And they don't have any type of a target in mind. They don't have a very specific and well-defined target. And so what I think is exceptionally important and really missing in most marketers' keyword research methodology is a definition of who your best prospect is. And your best prospect on the internet is somebody who already gets what you're selling. They already get it and they're actively searching for it um, so that it's not so much a question of whether they're going to buy a product in your in your industry. It's a question of which one. Those are the best prospects you're going to find on the internet. And this most notably excludes people who really need your product but don't know they need it yet or people who are searching to solve a problem that could be solved by your product but they're not aware that that problem could be solved by your product. So here's an example. Um, a long time ago, I had a partner and we put together a subliminal messaging software program. And there's actually some pretty good research on this. And what people don't realize is that if you continually present yourself with positive messages about a particular situation, it's likely that you're going to program yourself for improvement. It's just, it's just common sense. It's where everybody says if you think positively that you'll do positively. It's, it's not the only, it's not the only ingredient in a in positive improvement. It's possible to walk around, you know, saying positive affirmations and and still screw up and still have a bad life. <laughs> it's entirely possible. So it's it's not the only thing that's necessary, but it can be helpful. And we had put together a program which, while people are sitting on their computer, just automatically and uh, subliminally, if they would like and super liminally if they prefer, you know, where they could actually see it, would present whatever messages they wanted to program into the computer would just keep on presenting them on their screen. It was called Supercharge Your Life. It's at superchargeyourlife.com and we wanted to market it. And so if I were going to do keyword research for this project, I would write down in words and actually write this down, I actually type this out and write this down. My best prospect is someone who already knows about the power of subliminal messaging. I don't want someone who has to be convinced that subliminal messaging is powerful, at least not at this phase of my research. I want someone who already knows how powerful it is. And I want someone who's actively searching the internet to find the best solution for presenting messages to themselves. So basically, I want a guy or a gal who's got subliminal messaging on the brain, is convinced it's something they need to do, and now they just want to know, what can I buy or what can I download uh, even if it's for free, to help me um, make this happen for myself. And I take this definition and I print it out. I print it out and I keep it by the computer. 
before I allow myself to open any keyword tool. And I look at that and I continue to look at it as I'm searching because I need something to fight the attention deficit disorder that we all have when we're on the internet. The internet has so many links and so many possibilities that I, I always say that it makes us confuse our could do's with our should do's and the hyperlinks make you hyper. It's especially do it's especially true with keyword research because every keyword is semantically related to hundreds of other keywords and you can just get lost in that maze forever. So why don't you take a moment now, uh, pause the video and write down this definition so that we can go on and I can show you how to use it. This is just your bullseye set of keywords. We're going to expand from there, but this is just your bullseye set of keywords. I want you to know what your bullseye set of keywords are. I want you to have a way of excluding um, keywords that aren't in your bullseye set. And this definition will exclude most of the keywords that you're going to find. And that's okay, because that's what we wanted to do at this point. Okay, go write it down.